Yeah, what happened? Good, I'm, I'm glad to have Joe here. I mean, we have a little, little history, so you know, exciting to have Joe Swag up in here. Take a shot, wait to the, to the box. There's a mushroom box. There yes. Go. No cursing is allowed on the show, okay? <laughs> no, I'm just like, I've been to the studio. Um. <laughs> She's gonna go, oh, wait. I'm Rylena. And we are here with the homie Ricky Brown. You know what? I got hit upside the head as soon as I got here. Apparently, I can't curse. So, <laughs> I'm going to be editing myself the whole time. Gotcha. So, now I'm going to take this little break to announce the official sponsor of today's show, Global VIP's official sponsor. Put that back <laughs> It's wrong. Yeah, there we go. It's wrong. Yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, there we go. Shout out to the sponsor. So Rick, man, we just want we just want you to get a little knock. Nah, thank you. We we you can see it over there. Mm -hmm. All right. Shout so, out. So we got the production team in the cut. Make sure that we get the angles right. So in case you guys you guys see what's going on over here, we got a whole team out here, man. But look, right now I just want to walk through samples of my kids. You know, Bralina, how you feel? Right now? Oh, I mean, I like this. This is your first episode, first first everything this year. We're picking up the strong. So yeah. Yes. Yeah. Kind of start low. Vaquila is my lime and my lemon, and you know, you don't need to mix it with this. This, this is Vaquila watermelon, too. It's the yeah. world's, yeah, the world's first. Uh, yeah, the world's me, first. Uh, yeah. Let me get the watermelon flavor, right? Yeah. 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 Che che cheers. <laughs> cheers to a solid year. Cheers to being a little VIP. Let's get it, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. So, yeah, how you, how you like that Vaquila? <laughs> Talk to the people. It's <laughs> good. I don't like the fact that I like the watermelon flavor so much. We <laughs> said setting all my people back about four hundred years. And it's good. It sucks. It sucks. <laughs> so Rob, you got a few questions for the for the guests? Uh, yeah. Yeah. How did Ooh. you go from music yeah. to rap? Uh, kind of, what, what, what made you think you were funny? Enough. <laughs> <laughs> that's a respect. Yeah, that's a way to put that. How dare you? Uh, well, nah, I, all right, so I did, like, like I did music, and, like, I knew I always was, like, entertaining. Like, when there's a lot of people around, like, I, you know, it's just, it always ends up on me. And I've been told since I was, like, 12, 13 that I should try comedy. Mm -hmm. But that's one of the things where you just be like, nah, because it's a scary, like, I could be funny in conversation, but, Thinking about being up, being in front of people for like 15, 20 minutes, talking the whole time, and it's only on you to be funny. Just that dynamic was like, nah, I'm cool on it. But once I started doing music, when I perform, like you know, I was just telling, I was just telling Swag, like once I perform, I remembered that I would stop the music and talk and have people laughing and stuff. And even though that was only like 30 seconds or something like that. And then. Um, I tried other entertainment because I kind of, I ain't get bored with music, but it was just like, all right, you know what I'm saying, what else? So I done tried, I done did like Broadway workshops and um, I, did, I DJed, I, what was up? You did it? You got your daughter. <laughs> yeah, my daughter did it. Shout out to my daughter. Baby here, baby show here on point. But, um, but yeah, so I, I did the DJ. I done did every form of entertainment besides like stripping and something like that. <laughs> Uh, and I almost did that, but my mom told me, she was like, I don't think that's a good thing. <laughs> well, like, you can always be a dancing bear. Yeah, what? Well, uh, see, <laughs> but see that, my mom knew that. Shows, I know, if you know, you know. My, my mom knew that, she was like, she was like, I know my son, that's that's his goal. He's going to get to the dancing bear. So, <laughs> just cut that off now. In the introduction, it was like this girl that I knew, her her aunt was like, they having like a birthday party and they wanted like a stripper or something. And she hit me and she was like, yo man, good. and I was really, I was contemplating. Cause I'm like middle-aged white women, that bag gonna be, you know what I mean? I, I, you know, this is, I was in my early 20s too. Oh, yeah. oh I was in shape shape. Man. Yeah, it was gonna go that. <laughs> my mom was like, don't do that. <laughs> I'm like, all right, whatever. So I like, but, but yeah, so I done did a lot of entertainment, but like comedy, I started, you know, cause the open mics are different. Like comedy open mics, like the respect, aside from like the, sometimes you get the crowds that like, we were just having this conversation where it's like comedy is like the hardest form of entertainment. The thing that's kind of the hardest to me is like the fact that like, aside from battle rap, you made the comparison, aside from them two, like comedy is like, like you gonna deal with the crowd heckles. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
it don't, I done seen every form of every form of entertainment. I done seen poetry. I done seen all. Comedy is the really the only one with but with battle rap too where you gonna deal with the crowd. Mm -hmm. Yo, that wasn't funny. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you gotta deal with that. So, um, but I started off like I started off going to open mics, and uh, you know, it, it, once you realize the the process, like uh, open mic is like kind of like a workout room for for comedians. Mm -hmm. Like, if I say something or if I write something down and think it's funny, I go to the open mics with it and see how to deliver it, and then that's when it becomes actual material. You know what I'm saying? So like. Once I, once you get down the process, I fell in love with the with the process of doing it, and then you 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 meet all these people, you form a camaraderie with like the your peer group, the people you always see, mm -hmm. and then you know what I mean it's just it's just something where it's like this is the best form of entertainment that I've been in. You know what I'm saying? I tried the model too. I was like, <laughs> I tried everything, baby. I'm not here. <laughs> Y'all stop. Yeah, OnlyFans is next. I'm gonna get mine. Why? You can why? be a comedian. Why you can Listen. Be a question was brought up earlier, you're right, man, in regards to uh, what do you think is tougher, you know, battle rapping or being a comedian? Yeah, you know? I, I, I think they're both. I want to say, I, I, this is what I was saying, I, I want to say battle rap is harder because, like I was saying earlier, once I spit that verse, it's over. It's automatically going on the internet. I can't say it to nobody else. Right. Now, where I'm at in my career, if I tell you a joke at a show, Somebody might record it, somebody might post it, but the world ain't gonna see that. That's true. So, I could, even that same joke, I could still say at another show. Now, once you get to the status of Chappelle, right, right, right. all that, yeah, it sucks, but that's why they have people lock up their phone. So they can still go on tour and work out their material and do the same jokes. Ain't nobody gonna see it because, you know, your phone is, you know what I mean? You, so that's that's where, but right now I can't, you know, I can't be like, yo, put your phone, lock your phone away at my show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. We in Asbury, shut up. Right, right, right. All right, yeah, you right. Now, if you curse anyone, <clears throat> they're gonna donate to this box. And whoever is watching and can pinpoint when someone curses and the person that curses, we will cash app you. Something just change, okay? I got four hundred dollars. So in make the sure you pay attention. I don't know how much I'm gonna leave with you. <laughs> you will pay attention. But how much they donate every time I curse? Twenty dollars, a dollar, you know? Again, <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> Look, she almost set me up because I almost let one fly. Hold up, twenty. <laughs> hey, look, and this is the setup, man. This is why I love XL. XL, listen. He told he he was like, "Yo, come do a podcast." All right, cool. He did not tell me I can't curse. He did not tell me we was gonna have a drink. You know. When the juice get in somebody's system, that's when they let things fly. Hey, you just you trying to hustle me. You can't get me. I won't be broken. I'm trying to take it to the man. I'm going to go directly to the hood. That money is that money is going to some white person like he said this. You can't. I looked this up. This was profanity in 1650, isn't it? Right, it was a dollar, is it? We just start with a buck. Okay, I'll read this. And over here we got with the marquee, obviously. We got we have the VIP's name in it, and uh, we want to know how you feeling today. So, Rao, right over there, we have uh, an emoji that represents what he's feeling. Right? Well, I also want to say right. they didn't tell me to list the words I can't say. They said any word that's bad. I said, wow, okay. all right, man. Yeah. So now we're doing that on the fly. I can say fly. Like, what are you talking about? The zipper? What you allude to? Nah. Oh, all right, cool. Well, pick an emoji. Which, how are you feeling today? How are you feeling today? I feel. I feel, I, I want to feel funny, but that's not, nah, that's, you know. Yeah, I have no money, baby. I got, I got you. I got you. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me ask you a question about your first show. How was your first show? Like just, uh, okay. Your first comedy first show ever, 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 yeah. Uh, so my first. You got boo? Nah. Yo, look, you've been trying to call me a funny old boy. <laughs> what made you think you was funny? You got boo? Oh, okay. All right, let's see where this is going. Cat Williams, you. But now, uh, so the first thing I did was an open mic, and I didn't get booed, but it was also like I was. I didn't know how to how the system worked. Like I read, I googled New Jersey open mic, and it was somewhere up north, Scotty's. Because uh, I started February 2019, but COVID shut everything down for 2020, so I don't really count. I don't count that year. Right. So I did it from February 2019 until March 2020. And then I didn't start back up until June 2021. Okay. So I took like a year and a half just, you know, cause I was, I was hurt. <laughs> cause, cause once you, once you, like when you've been doing entertainment and then once you find that thing where it's like, yo man, this is, you fall in love with it. And then COVID just came and just like, 
It, like I was so I was scared to start back up and fall in love again. But then once June hit, I was like, yo, you know what? If I'm still feeling my uh, her birthday is in June. And right after her birthday, I was like, yo, you know what? All right, man, let me get back into it, which is weird that I just said that now because I started when she was like developing in a human being. And then I started back up right after her birthday. That's some weird. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, I, I, I'll say four years active. I was born in Red Bank, New Jersey, raised in Cliffwood, New Jersey. Um. South Jersey to me. That's South Jersey. Go ahead. I hate you. <laughs> this is where you live. I'm from Teaneck. Oh, Teaneck. Oh, oh, see, <laughs> there's no sense of yeah. There's no sense of geographical skill with these North Jersey people because it's only North and South. There's no such thing as a middle. No. <laughs> no. As <laughs> soon as they gotta go past like exit 129 North, on North. the Parkway, oh, we South. North. What? Once you pass North, you're in South. This Jersey. the this the Mason Dixon line now. <laughs> Out of here. I'm from Central Jersey. Hey, if you look, first. no. I said, get out of here. Oh, yo, you this guy. I'm making sure all the angle you want. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you will. On this episode, yes, you will. <laughs> I don't know how swag gonna do. I'm good. And I can see the way you asked that question. I'm almost done too. Yeah, I'm out of here. I'm, I want the money that's in there. You got it. <laughs> but um, but yeah. So uh, Central Jersey. Central Black. Jersey. Yeah, relax. <laughs> um, Central Jersey. If you look, it's in the middle of Jersey. Like yeah, yeah, it's, no it's literally in the middle. There's no middle. There's but what do you? What the people that took uh, offense to that are people who <laughs> they ain't, they ain't do nothing in twenty years. So because this dude doing it for two months now, he the reason. That, like come on, man. <laughs> that don't even make sense. Like you know what I'm saying? It's just it's it's the same. It, the, it, look, I got respect for all the people that do it whether you do it a lot or not, because I know what it takes to make yourself, put yourself in that level of vulnerability to be like, please laugh at what I'm saying. But it's still the thing where it's like, man, you, it's, it's the same people that always critique the same thing. That's true. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, aside from Cat Williams, who, where I can say that's not really hate because Cat Williams is a successful comedian. He got his ups and downs, but realistically, He's been killing the game for a long time. Yeah. So what he's saying is not hate. You know, that might be valid opinion, valid facts, whatever. And with T.I., his thing is significant to him not understanding that it takes a certain amount of work to keep staying. Because if you remember, he was actually doing good in the comedy thing, like in the first couple of months. But then he, he, he kind of like... Because you take somebody like T.I. who's been performing in arenas and stuff like that for most of his life. He don't understand that you can't just jump to that when you switch over. It takes you got to go to them, you know, maybe not open mics like I'm doing, but you got to go to that. You got to start at the bottom and build your way up to being Kevin Hart as the comedian. Yeah. Just because you accustomed to, to being in front of a certain amount of people. And that's and that's where you fall short because you ain't you ain't put in the work. What you doing, man? You ain't put he ain't put in the work to be in front of that many people as a comedian. A lot of people <clears throat> took they took offense to the fact that he it was almost like hate. unfair unfair advantage. Nah, they hate that's hate. You know, somebody like Faze on Love can't <laughs> give me can't can't give me comedic advice. He's irrelevant. Why he irrelevant? And, 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 and my thing is because my thing is I don't worked with you know a, a, you take somebody like talent. Mm -hmm. I don't work with talent multiple times and he's been doing it for as long as I'm I'm alive. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm 33 years old. So he my lifespan is his career. I'll take advice from him because he might not be the 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 movie star that Kevin Hart is, but his name is stamped in the comedic world. When you Chris Rock did Kevin Hart's podcast or whatever that is, where they was naming, you know, they were sitting they were sitting around sipping wine or something, and 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 talent's name came up like you know, it, it, he's one of them ones where it's like, all right, cool. I'll sit down and yeah, Patrice, I'll, it, Patrice is my number one, mm -hmm. but I'll sit down and listen to his advice. You know, I can't take Patrice's advice. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm getting advice from Patrice O'Neal, you better, yeah, better lock me in a room somewhere, bro. I don't need one of the jackets to make you hug yourself. Bad rapping or being a comedian. Yeah, I, I, I think they're both. I want to say, I, I, this is what I was saying. I, I want to say battle rap is harder because, like I was saying earlier, once I spit that verse, it's over. Mm -hmm. It's automatically going on the internet. I can't say it to nobody else. Right. Now, where I'm at in my career, if I tell you a joke at a show, somebody might record it, somebody might post it, but the world ain't finna see that. That's true. 
So I could even that same joke, I could still say at another show. Now, once you get to the status of Chappelle, right, right, right. all that, yeah, it sucks. But that's why they have people lock up their phone so they can still go on tour and work out their material and do the same jokes. Ain't nobody going to see it because, you know, your phone is, you know what I mean? You, so that's that's where. But right now I can't, you know, I can't be like, yo, put your phone away, lock your phone away at my show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? We in Asbury. Shut up. Right, right, right. All right, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I love you, yeah. <clears throat> just for just for prop purposes, purposes, right? Like, Once you realize the the process, like uh, open mic is like kind of like a workout room for for comedians. Like if I say something or if I write something down and think it's funny, I go to the open mics with it and see how to deliver it, and then that's when it becomes actual material. You know what I'm saying? So like- That was my first show. I, I, I went real late. We got, me and, me and my daughter's mom, when, when, when she was pregnant with her, it was my first uh, comedy open mic. And um, we got there, I think around like, like I said, like 6.15 or something like that. Mm. I ended up performing until after 12. Mm. And when I was performing- Hold on, 6.15 to 12. Six, I like said, six, after six, one or six hours. Shit. That's crazy. So, <laughs> and a lot of them mm, 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 wasn't funny. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> just politics. Yeah, it was. It was it's just they knew everybody, they know knew everybody and mm-hmm. I was the new kid. I was the new kid, I guess. So, um, yeah. So I, but I ended up performing for the the host, the the waitress. Oh, they all left. And 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 my daughter's mom and the uh, 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 no, this place ain't no guy. <clears throat> but it, um, and and the dude that was supposed to go after me, but he was like, I'm not going. Up. <laughs> ain't nobody here. I was going like four people. That was my first. Wow. But then, but then the next week, I was like, "All right, cool, bet I'm, I'm gonna figure this out." So I got there earlier, and my name was up higher on the list, and I ended up going. I ended up going like I still was like number four. I signed up number four, ended up being like number sixteen. Oh, but once more people seen and they seen that I was funny, mm-hmm. now everybody would be, you know, hey, bro. Now the next week I go, mm-hmm. it's it's a little bit more respect. It's a little, bit, you know, what I'm saying. Okay. So, but yeah, so uh, so I went to an open mic. And the on Google it said, yo, it starts at, you know, I forgot, but it starts at seven. So I got there around six fifteen, like, all right, cool, but unbeknownst to me, comedy game goes, if it starts at seven, you get there at six fifteen, but it's a million people already there. Oh. And it's politics and comedy. So if I sign up on the list and I'm number twelve, but don't nobody know me, I automatically become number twenty seven. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you used to be with us back at SOBs. Yeah. When we do our shows on Success Sundays, right? And uh, shout out to my partner, Swag. Swag is in the building. We'll get to him later. But when we have uh, an itinerary for like the play, like the, the roster for the night, mm. we run into issues where, example, we'll have the, one artist go fifth, but he didn't bring his crowd, so we move him to like 10th. Yeah, yeah, crowd yeah. Get there, right. Right. So, but the comedy game, you're saying that it's worse than that? At least, you know what I'm saying? Like, because, you know, in hip hop, when we tell you like, yo, you you eight on a list. Yeah. You usually you usually stay there. Yeah. You don't move you around. But in comedy, how well, do see, you that's know? that's circumstantial. Where that makes sense. Okay. You know what I'm saying? If I if I if I got twenty people about to pull up but they're not here yet, it makes sense to have me wait until like you know what I'm saying? That that makes perfect sense. But I'm talking about just off the like they didn't know me. So even if you got twenty people in there, yeah, it don't matter because. No, not not. If I got twenty people, that's 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 business things. That's gotcha. they gonna let me. You know what I mean? Right. But in an open mic, we talking about an open mic. It ain't. That's not a. That's not a show where like people come to see. Really, oh. you know what I mean? Open mic, you're usually performing for a gang of other comedians. Um, but it's like a workout room. It's you know, it's just you know, I'm testing out this new material. I thought right. of this stuff that I wrote. Uh, but you form a camaraderie. With like the your peer group, the people you always see, mm-hmm. and then you know what I mean. It's just it's just something where it's like this is the best form of entertainment that I've been in. You know what I'm saying? I tried to model too. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you I tried everything, baby. Yeah, I'm right. out here. <laughs> yeah, OnlyFans is next. I'm gonna get mine. Watch, watch. You comedian, why you comedian? Why you finish mm-hmm. those? Before we close the show, I, I want to make sure that the people know that we actually put. Oh, perfect, right, sir. So it's Instagram followers. Like, get the oh, followers. Yeah, 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 my Instagram is Rick Ram C Great. Uh R I C K Y R A N E S S E S Great is regular. Um everything else is the same. Where can they find you at a comedy show or want to see you? Well, next, next comedy show, perform? My next show is actually up, is it up here in North Jersey. Oh where? Um 
She's going to come. Oh, wait. Two Um, It said it's at the Comedy Dojo in Lord's Plain. That is not. <laughs> that's like East. That's like, that don't sound like Bergen County area. That's, that's how it sounds. I don't know. Doing. What is that? Like, so yeah. you're telling me there's no East. That's or a, West that's like in the mountains. That's in the mountains. Up in the mountains, right? That's not in Bear Mount, Bear area, right? That's where the bears are. No, no. no Morris Plains is. It's like Morris Townish, right? Yeah. Can't wait. It's it's, it's it got to be fun. You know what I'm saying? It got to be. It got to be a good time. And uh, I know that I'm funny wherever. <laughs> she been laughing this whole interview. It was like, did you get food? Or <laughs> I love my sisters. I gotta, I gotta ask. Gotta ask. Yeah. Let's melt some ice. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that is a she is an alcoholic for real. That's because that's a grandma phrase. Like that's something that like a yo. I'm a grandma. Yeah. So that's a, you a grandma for real? Yeah, I'm a grandma. Black don't crack. Black don't crack. Oh, so that's I was not expecting you to just say that. Hold on, wait. Time out. He just hit me in my face with that. That's nuts. How old is your what? Your son or daughter? Or? My daughter. Daughter is twenty one. Twenty one. You got a twenty one year old kid. Yeah. Jesus. I got an eighteen year old, so we right there. Right. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I got a five year. I started late, I guess. <laughs> well, I got six year olds too, twins. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. fair enough. I was busy. You know? Yeah, that yeah. day. <laughs> As you should be. <laughs> you caught us. You caught me slacking. Drop your cash app. Raleena's going to send you the cash app. It's the four dollars. Put it in the washroom. Shout out to Raleena for sending the bottle. Shout out to Raleena. Thank you. Boy, Rick. All right, man. Thank you for having me. Be safe, man. You too. Cheers. <laughs>